We know summer's in full swing because at the farmer's market, you're seeing tons of fresh sweet corn and squashes of all kinds of variety. And today we're making our corn zucchini hash. We love it. Oh my gosh, it's such a great side dish or regular dish to go with any kind of your Mexican Southwest food. So this is a Mexican zucchini. You know, there's a lot of different zucchinis here. They have them um, in different colors, different shapes, the different sizes. Ones. Oh my gosh. Yellow, squash, all of those will work in this. We just like the color difference with the green squash and the yellow sweet corn and the red onion that we're gonna put in there because what makes it that kind of Southwestern flavor is we're gonna use some fresh cilantro and diced up onion, That's red right. onion. And all the colors, they look so beautiful. And this is honestly, again, a great side dish. You can add some meat to it and make you this can, as a filler. You can use this in quesadillas. There's add, so many things you can do with this. But what you're gonna do is you're trying to get everything into bite-sized pieces. So Peg's here showing you how we dice up the zucchini. squash zucchini. That's right, and so this is all that it is. And you just squash it, you know, this this squash, you just cut it in these little long pieces, yeah. and then we dice it up. And we have a ton diced up over here, and we have our pan heating on a medium-low heat. And what we're gonna get started with first is we like to cook down the onions because you wanna get them nice and brown before we add the zucchini because you don't wanna play around with your zucchini too much in the pan because you want it, it nice gets mushy. Yeah. yeah, so I've <laughs> added a little bit of olive oil to the already heated pan, and I'm gonna add about a half a cup. That's you what know. you wanna hear, that sizzle, mm -hmm. that your pan's hot. And now, you just wait, let it cook down. It'll take about a minute or two. You can see that it's done because it's all nice and brown around the edges of the onions. Mm -hmm. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of this fabulous, just a little bit, because this is a corn Zucchini and zucchini hash. hash. And right now we're gonna make it all about the corn. And the corn, we have it nicely shucked here. Fresh corn, you can use it in a can if you can't find it. They have really great canned organic, canned organic corn, if I can say that. Uh, during the rest of the year. Yes, but during the summertime, oh my we just did a wonderful how-to video on how to shuck your corn really easy and keeping it nice and simple. Contained. So you can find <laughs> that in our videos. And so while this is browning, the zucchini is browning, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to it, like one or two cloves. Oh, you should put a little bit more zucchini in there. Well, I don't wanna, but okay, Megs. Just a little bit more. Megs, she likes more zucchini. All right, and this dish that we're making will feed, you know, probably three to four. And Megs talked about other things that you can add. The other thing that you could add to this, which if you wanna just make a vegetarian taco, is black beans, pinto beans, black-eyed peas. And it makes a fabulous one-pot taco that's all vegetarian. Mm -hmm. This is a great filler for quesadilla as well, like I said. Okay, so while this is browning, yeah, stir it up to get the, all the olive oil nicely incorporated around all of the, and the garlic and everything together. But you really don't want to touch the zucchini too much because it will get soft and mushy and you want to try and keep it all together. You don't want to break it down. Brown. So as Peg's here is pulling out fresh cilantro, I'm just going to... Rough chop it. Just rough chop it. And you can pull out the long little stems. Honestly though, you can use the stems. It's nothing's wrong with them. Oh, no, um, no, no. Just it's more just flavor. Sometimes. It actually is. That's a really good, the stems pack a powerful punch of cilantro and flavor. And if you don't have fresh, you can always use dried cilantro. Not mm -hmm. the same, but it'll work. Yeah, or you can leave it out. And so the other thing that we're gonna do right now is we're gonna season our zucchini and onions. And you can use your favorite Mexican seasoning, or and we can also add a little bit of the garlic powder. powder. Garlic on garlic, because we just can't get enough. <laughs> and then we're gonna put a little bit of our fresh Mexican seasoning that we love. We have this one brand, it's through Santa Fe. It's six seasonings, it's so good. I know a lot of my friends that I talk about with this, they have their family special seasonings and um, you can use the fajita seasoning blend. We love Spice Hunter has a good one, or the Mexican one. And All depends. Can, and you can heat it up. You can add some red chili pepper flakes in here. Mm -hmm. Or red bell pepper flakes. I mean, you can add jalapenos, fresh jalapenos in there. That's so many really options. That's really great. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook down. And then, this cilantro mix, this is the garnish. The finale! After we put the corn. Yep. <laughs> this has been cooking for about five minutes, maybe a little to longer. Ten. Yeah, because we want to get it. Look at how nice and caramelized and brown it gets. And now we add 
the star of the show, sweet corn. Okay? And we're not going to cook this too long because we want it to stay crisp. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon or two of butter. This is a little amount. I'm just going to add, you know, a heavy tablespoon of butter. I like cutting it up to the butter into like four little cubes and you kind of spread it around the pan. It's a great idea. It cooks faster. And then I'm going to add a pinch of salt. A hefty pinch of salt because that Celtic sea salt is going to bring out all the flavors that we already have going on with there with all those Mexican seasonings the onion, the sweetness from the corn, it's really just gonna enhance everything. And if you can see, had you cubed that butter, it would have spread it all I around. Know, I know, I <laughs> know. But what the butter does too, is it has a great creaminess and rich flavor to it. Yeah. It also enhances the seasonings that we've added to also, the Also adding dish. more butter is how I get, for all the kids that I cook for, getting them to eat this is just add some more butter. Because like our dear friend Julia Childs, Ugh, never yeah. enough butter. I know, right? <laughs> Alright. Look at how yummy that is. That is awesome. I'll turn off the Glistening flame. Glistening from the butter. So this is it. Done. I love Corn it. Corn hash with some zucchini and delicious seasonings. Mm -hmm. Meg's going to top it here with some fresh cilantro. And you have a fabulous side dish, main dish. Some any pepper. kind of dish for any of your favorite Mexican or Southwest seasonings. And so we're going to wait one second because it's going to be so really hot. hot. But I have to tell you, the other thing that this is great for is you can make a fresh taco salad, Megan, and yeah. just add this with, like you were saying, shredded some chicken or shredded ground, chicken ground. or taco beef. Absolutely. It's Yum. a great dish. So for this full recipe, Megs, come on, let me give you a taste. I can try it. All right, you try it. It's still really hot. For this full recipe, you can go to currygirlskitchen.com. You can visit us on Instagram, Facebook, all our social medias. Twitter, Pinterest, constantly posting fun things to pair this with. Yeah. And if you don't subscribe, subscri subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see fun videos like this that we're posting every Wednesday mm. to share with you.